Welcome to Crypto News Today. What exactly is Phantom? Ethereum is being challenged by the fast blockchain. Phantom is a blockchain that supports smart contracts and is powered by the FTM coin. Phantom launched its mainnet in December 2019 after raising $40 million. Its blockchain is quick and inexpensive, and it demonstrated in 2021 that it can support its own decentralized finance, DeFi, business. FTM's price rose from $0.17 cents in July 2021 to $3.30 in January 2022, indicating that there is demand for Ethereum alternatives. The Phantom blockchain achieves some of its speed thanks to a directed acyclic graph, DAG, which displays blockchain transaction histories as a hash graph, a graph of blockchain hashes. It works in a similar way to the Hedera hashgraph technology. Lacasis, Phantom's leaderless consensus method, is another innovation. The methodology is an asynchronous Byzantine fault resilient form of proof of stake, ABFT. It has the advantage of continuing to function normally even if a third of transaction data is fake. This means that Phantom's blockchain nodes can independently validate transactions, thus the asynchronous in ABFT, rather than needing to wait in a queue. While transactions on Ethereum and Bitcoin can take several minutes to clear, Phantom transactions should only take two seconds. Phantom, unlike Solana, may be used with the Ethereum Virtual Computer EVM. This makes it simple to transfer Ethereum-based decentralized applications to Phantom. EVM is also compatible with Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, BSC, and Polygon. To that end, FTM is accessible as an ERC-20 and a BEP-20 token, indicating that there is a version of the token that complies with the Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain token specifications, respectively. The success of Phantom is best understood in the context of the L1 battles. Ethereum is slow and expensive to use, and will remain so until the protocol is upgraded, assuming activity stays the same. This could take several years. It's too late for those who want to take use of decentralized finance protocols right now but can't afford to use ETH native DeFi apps. Some developers, such as those behind Looping, Abritrum, and Optimism, choose to construct Layer 2, or L2, solutions in order to speed up the Ethereum experience without sacrificing security. Other blockchains have chosen to completely replace Ethereum, which is known as the base layer, L1 or Layer 1. The leading horses in this race are Solana, Avalanche, Polkadot, Terra, actually a Cosmos app chain, and Phantom, albeit all native coins have fallen significantly from their all-time highs. Terra's coin, Luna, has the greatest market cap of these L1 protocols, with a market cap of $29 billion as of March 2022, followed by Solana with a market size of $26 billion. With a market capitalization of $3.4 billion, FTM is a distant second. There is a DeFi cottage industry on each of these blockchains. Terra's DeFi market is the second largest behind Ethereum, according to data from DeFi Llama. Ethereum has $111 billion in total value locked, TVL, as of March 2022, whereas Terra has $22 billion. With $7.25 billion, Phantom is in fifth place. That's more than the $6.69 billion raised by Solana. Who's building on Phantom? Phantom Finance allows for synthetic minting, liquid staking, decentralized lending and trading. SpookySwap, a decentralized automatic market maker. Think Uniswap but on Phantom. Its token, amusingly, has the ticker, Boo. Multichain, a cross-chain router protocol. Solidly, a decentralized exchange with little slippage. Solidly was created by Andre Cronier, the inventor of Yearn Finance. It operates on a 3 3 model, like Olifmus DAO. Geist Finance, a decentralized lending protocol. Who is constructing on Phantom? Where can I get Phantom? The decentralized or centralized exchange can be used to purchase Phantom. Binance, KuCoin, and FTX are the three main marketplaces for FTM, according to CoinMarketCap. FTM is supported via cross-chain bridges such as Wormhole and Multichain, and it may be traded on Ethereum's Uniswap and Binance Smart Chain's PancakeSwap because it's released as an ERC-20 and BEP-20 token. The winner of the L1 conflicts will determine the destiny of FTM. 
Ethereum is currently losing ground to new Layer 1 blockchains such as Solana, Phantom, and Avalanche. However, it's worth noting that FTM's market cap is around 7 times lower than Sol's, suggesting that the winner has already been determined. The Phantom Foundation issued a statement underlining that neither were key developers of Phantom and claimed that technology development on the project is proceeding as normal in the aftermath of their announcement, with the price of FTM plunging by double digits. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get the latest crypto news.